What's up creatives and welcome to another Romeo show. Today we are going to be doing another Zentangle pattern. Also we have got our weekly motivational mindset too at the end of the show so stay tuned for that one. So what are we all waiting for? Let's roll intro. How is everybody? Hope we are all good and had a good week. If you're new to the show, my name is Romeo. I am a sketch and motivational artist uploading art therapy videos on a Wednesday Mandela drawings for you to do yourself at home. Follow along with the with my how to draw Mandela book and I also upload an art therapy session on a Tuesday on this show here. It being a motivational mindset week quote for you and also a Zentangle pattern for you to be drawing yourself in your own time, getting yourself nicely relaxed and calm. Doing these Zentangle patterns really do help to calm yourself down and really do help to help you concentrate and for you to relax. You can draw them on a piece of paper or if you want, you can get my It's Not Just Motivational on Monday's Mood Tracker Diary book brilliant book to be giving to someone for a gift it helps them to recover and to get over anything that they are going through there are little there are um, small prompts in the book for them to um for questions for them to answer every day things like what am i great grateful for what are my gratitudes are um, have i slept well have i eaten well things like that so they can progress through their time, through their journey, and then look back on what the things that they went through and how much they have come through it. Also, you can draw the Zentangle patterns. There are breathing exercises in there for people to do, and also the Zentangle patterns. There are playlists on my YouTube channel for you to follow along and draw these Zentangle patterns, or you can just draw on a piece of paper, just draw yourself a square, a nice even square, and then follow along to any of my patterns and draw them um, in your own time as well. This is what I was just showing you. These are the drawings that we are gonna be doing today. These three patterns here, we're gonna be doing the square, the circle and the triangle, all within this square using our pen and a pencil too. So what were you waiting for folks? Let's roll the video.
was that for you guys hope you enjoyed that video give us a like if you did and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button click that bell and turn on notifications so you know when i upload a new video and going on to today's quote of the week and that is do not give in to fear it's one of the things that holds us all back is fear the worry of what may and may not be happening in our lives or the outcome of a future possible event that we may be thinking about that's the thing See, that's the thing with fear. It's the one thing that holds us back. We always draw on the fact of what if? What if I did this? What if I do this and they don't like it? What we are thinking there and what we are doing to ourselves there is we are bringing up and thinking up negative thoughts on things that have not yet and possibly may not even have happened to us yet. We sit there and we think up all these negative things of what might be happening, what could have happened, but that's the thing. Those things have not yet happened. Fear does not exist. It's a, it's a figment of our imaginations that we conjure up, we think up, and it what puts us back two paces when we are going forwards two paces. It what always holds us back and what always drives us back to the beginning again. And at the end of the day, you are strong enough to get through whatever you are going through. Is it going to be easy? No. Is it going to be a challenge? Yes, it will be. But at the end of the day, you will get through it. Whatever you are going through, you've got a, what we say, you've got a punch fear in the face. Hold, you hold yourself up to it and do not let it overcome you. If you do find yourself getting into fear and worrying about something, all you've got to think about is that it's not going to be there forever. It will pass. Fear, anything that you're worrying about, anything that is happening to you, it's not going to be there forever. It will pass and newer things, new brighter things, happier things will be are on their way. Going back to my previous videos about planting that positive thought, that positive mindset, that creating that image in yourself of your future self. As long as you keep on thinking of that, keeping that in your mind, fear will not take over. Unfortunately, it does sometimes as well, but you've got to punch fear in the face, get it out of the way and move on. Do something positive and constructive and you will find yourself that fear will no longer be in your presence. Punch fear in the face and move on, move on from it. It is not real, it does not exist. It is just a figment of our imag imaginations of things that have not yet happened. And that's the end of the show, folks. Thank you all again for watching and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, click that bell on, turn on notifications so you know when I upload a new video. These videos now are gonna be coming out. I'm gonna put a, uh, a message up on my Instagram. These videos now are gonna be uploaded on a, still gonna be on a Tuesday, but rather than 12 in the afternoon, they're gonna be now uploaded for the evening time. So when you're getting home from work, you can switch these on now. They're gonna be uploaded from around six o'clock. So at six o'clock, these videos are now gonna be uploaded on a Tuesday, no longer 12 o'clock. Six o'clock, they're gonna be uploaded, so you've got a nice evening to chill out, relax, you know, you've unwind from work sit down get yourself grab yourself a pen and paper and draw these zen tangle patterns just to get over the day and to relax and calm yourself down thank you all again for watching my name is romeo this is romeo sketches signing off peace out <laughs>